Hello, everybody. We are back here with Rachel Taryn. She's actually this awesome person we love so much. You would be amazed. She is a fitness model and yes. everything at her young age of, what are we at now? 60. 60. I mean, are you kidding me? You, your body you is better. great. Than and they're going to show some photos of her, and she looks fantastic. So I'm trying to, like, I know, learn our in, or, like, do my <laughs> poses and, yeah. you know. Well, today we're going to talk about some ways to incorporate nutrition into your lifestyle on a daily basis. So I'm just going to kind of let Rachel talk about all of our wonderful stations we have here today. We use food as fuel. And uh, instead of just looking at calories, because calories are not always what you need to think about. Um, I'm going to go through those superfoods, the, mm -hmm. the macros and the micros. Those are the new concepts that we hear about all the time. So what, is, what are ma macronutrients and what are micronutrients? Um, and honestly, I have to tell you, just I'm an athlete, and athletes really do um, need to be conscientious about what they're putting into their body. But everyone needs to use some common sense when looking at all these superfoods. We need them for fuel. Mm -hmm. The first m m macronutrient is protein. Ooh. And of course, I have to definitely show what I uh, use in my diet every day is uh, protein powder. And eggs, egg whites. Especially. Egg whites, so those are brown eggs. Yes. Well, does these it make a case, difference? Well, see, I'm <laughs> one of the things that I'm very conscientious about as well is um, using local, mm -hmm. organic right. as much as possible, and fresh. So these are cage-free, and um, even though I use egg whites, or we also incorporate some um, yolk because of the, the good fat mm -hmm. that we okay. get. Where do you get your eggs from? I get them from Fresh Market. Good deal. I get them from, um, Actually, my son-in-law uh, and my daughter have chickens, and so when I can, yeah. I get them right we out could of the pen. get ours from Lindsay, <laughs> yeah. Lindsay keeps eggs. I'm glad you said those are free range. So. I don't know if y'all have watched this at home. It's the movie called Food, Inc., and it's all about mm -hmm. like animals and how these like chickens have never seen the light of day, and it kind of makes you really think about what you are putting in your body. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, even me, like who loves to just devour as soon as I see food, like I try and think about it just a minute, thinking like, is this the best option or could I do better options? Because you know I like to eat. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure it's good. Very so what good. else do we have? Okay, especially for those who are vegetarians. <laughs> there, I mean, we have vegetarian protein, pea protein in powder form as mm -hmm. well. I didn't say that earlier. But black beans, any kind of legume is important. Mm -hmm. um, so and a lot of iron. A lot of iron That's besides good. the protein. I love And then beans. this is just an additive in case you want to add some pro, uh, some peanut butter besides the fresh peanut And by the way, that PB2, yes. it's got chocolate in it, and it yes. smells like a Reese's Reese cup, cup in yep. a jar. So <laughs> it's healthy, like, but still smells fantastic. Oh, I took a sniff of it earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, the next macronutrient is fats. Oh, okay. Definitely very important. And one of the things I did not say, I have to go back to my friend protein, is that you need protein, protein, protein for building and maintaining. Okay. Definitely. <clears throat> so your good fats here, we've got some, you were just looking at the, yeah. the chia seeds. Chia seeds. The chia, chia okay. Seeds. So these are? A lot of omega-3s. It okay. helps protect your joints. I mean, oh, you know okay. all the great stuff about the cardiovascular mm -hmm. system as well. Plus the fiber. So you have chia seeds, you have walnuts. Okay. Perfect. And flaxseed. Flaxseeds. This is very, very it's, it's got such a nutty aroma and tastes very good. I put flaxseed chia seeds in my smoothies. Oh. And we have a recipe that, that we'll be what sharing. What a good idea. Earlier. Well, I see you've got some bodacious oh, yeah. olive, olive yes. oil. Or olive oil. Yes. Olive oil. We always use olive oil mm -hmm. instead of any other kind of oil. And there's, there's always new studies that we'll talk about palm oil as a replacement mm -hmm. or some other kind of oil, but definitely olive oil is what we use. Okay. I cannot not <laughs> mention avocados oh, because no. avocados are a superfood yes. because they not only provide um, fats, vitamin A. Mm. Nice skin. Yes, okay. oh, I love that. All right. Okay, this is what I've been excited for. Yes, all we've been talking morning. about the what are the sweet, sweet, sweet potato pancakes. pancakes. Okay, mm -hmm. as we move down, of course, I'm going to refer to them as well with our grains. Our, okay. our carbohydrates are our next superfood, and I made these these super Aww. wonderful. Um, they smell delicious. Split one with me? 
Split. <laughs> you want your own? They're, they're sweet potato protein I will uh, pancake. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll just take a one. This is a great <laughs> post-workout mm. meal. Oh my it, gosh. It does have, I mean, better than IHOP, 396 calories. What? Again, we don't just look at calories, we look at 63 grams of protein. Wow. That's what we need. That's Post-workout, because you only have one hour after a workout to where you can replenish the glycogen stores in your muscles. Huh. Okay. Okay. So that's combining our carbohydrates, which we haven't talked about mm -hmm. yet, and the protein. Okay. So here we have our grains, which are number one carbohydrate that we need to incorporate. You might say, well, gosh, how, I thought you got rid of your carbohydrates as a, as a tra uh, athlete. Mm -hmm. Not so. We need carbohydrates. We need a lot of carbohydrates but we need the complex. Okay, okay. so this is um, quinoa. Hmm. Now a lot of people don't use quinoa very much because they really don't know how to prepare it. But there are a lot of recipes, which I'll talk about even in the, okay. in, at the end. Um, and I have to say there's, I mean, there are plenty of recipes, <laughs> you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> steel cut oats, mm -hmm. you don't just have to wear, use steel cut oats, you can use regular oatmeal. Regular oats. And this recipe that I made with the pancakes, you can substitute the sweet potato and just use oatmeal. I, so, uh, and that's a staple of mine. So what's the difference in this, the steel cut oats you said mm -hmm. and the oatmeal? I mean, is there a big difference in it's it? The way, it's the milling process. Okay, so it's more of a texture difference. Texture and the fact that it's got still some of the germ in it. And, okay. And, okay, so it takes, you can't prepare steel cut oats the same way as you do these oats here. Okay. Okay, and then we have balsamic brown rice. Mm -hmm. All of these things we incorporate into our diets first thing in the morning. Okay. And then the value added foods, that's what I like to call them because these are the things that help us burn through the day. Mm -hmm. We have peppers and <laughs> these peppers came from the local um, uh, farmer's market. We have um, cayenne, mm. which can come in two forms. We have cayenne pepper, Oh. And we, oh yeah. That's cute. That is it's uh, your so habanero. It's not? <laughs> no. You want to try? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Make sure that you don't touch your eyes afterwards. Yes. <laughs> and then we have also the um, jalapenos. Mm. We have green and, and red. And what do peppers do for your body? Well, peppers have, well, it, they usually burn mostly, but it adds flavor. Um, there is vitamin C in peppers, just like, in, like your red and... Uh, uh, your sweet peppers mm -hmm. okay. just as well. Oh, so perfect. And then I have to say you have cinnamon. It's uh, not cinnamon, in here, yes. but it is a for it's a burner. Then I've also heard that peppers help um, mothers who are expecting like go into labor. I have heard that. Spicy so too. for you expecting mothers, if you're ready <laughs> to pop that baby out, go get some of these peppers. They'll I might I might say at this point too. My background is in nutrition. Mm -hmm. I have a degree in sociology extended in nutrition that I received in, at Northern Arizona University. So the one thing that I've learned is that always watch your sources mm -hmm. of information. Make sure they come from credible sources. Right. Because there's a lot of trends uh, mm -hmm. a, 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 and, and a myths out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, carbohydrates are super, super wonderful foods. These are, this is where our vitamins and minerals come. Um, come from. I mean, all of the my macronutrients provide us energy, uh, and building, but these things help the macronutrients, and we call these okay. micros. Okay. Okay. But lots of, of uh, things that, that that build the cells and transport into our system to help those macros do their, their okay. job. Wonderful. Um, I made this. I was talking about the chia seed uh, pudding, mm -hmm. which is almond milk, which is another source. This is calcium, our superfood. Um, Yogurt, which you can include also mm -hmm. as protein, especially Greek yogurt, because it has the highest level of any kind of protein uh, of dairy. And then we've got our almonds and our strawberries that will go on top of the Ooh. pudding here. Do you want one? I do. Yeah, and you, you can certainly add. Of course, the, I want one. That's in the. Um, Get you some almonds. Yeah. And, and we also yeah. forgot to mention what I'm sipping on. We have this water back here, mm -hmm. which has so cucumbers and lemons, correct? Yes, and the thing is, is that you need to know is that water is a nutrient as well. Thanks. Our bodies are 60% water, two thirds. You can, you can fast all week without any food, 
but you cannot go without water. So in order to make it a little bit more fun, infuse it. Infuse it with, with fruits and vegetables. It's really good. This is good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay. Again, more super fruit. These are fruits. Our fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. um, are important. Those are the nutrients or the vitamins and the minerals that you're going mm -hmm. to get out of these and the phytonutrients. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm right at the end here and I want to talk to you not only about a great book if you want to know more about um, performance nutrition. Uh, Dr. Susan Daniel, um, Kleiner, I'm sorry, uh, this book has been out for a while and she's got a newer book called uh, Power Foods, hmm. okay, and this is another one, newer, and she uh, collaborated with Oxygen Magazine. Many of you who are athletes know what o Oxygen Magazine is, but there's a lot of workout and mm -hmm. recipes for oh. those who are burning for fuel for, mm -hmm. for performance. Is that her on the cover? No. Oh. I was gonna say, wow. But you can, yeah. you can look like that though. So get this yeah. book and you can definitely look like that one yeah. day. I'm already, well, I'm gonna do it. For those of us who don't really do books anymore and are more tech savvy, I heard there's some really great apps out there right. that we can use to kind yes. of track our nutrition. Okay, the two that I recommend, my, uh, fitness, <coughs> my fitness Pal, that will also help you determine, it'll give you a plan. So okay. the t number of calories that you need to burn for the type of, of, of uh, activity that you're mm -hmm. doing and build your menu. The other one is choose my plate. And we use this with children. And again, my background is working mostly with children. So mm -hmm. I love this particular app uh, because it is very kid friendly, but it's mm -hmm. also good for adults um, to track your calories, your, your food intake, your, your nutrients, and um, activity. Again, it's very important that we just don't look at calories as taking in and they're all bad. It's, it, you've got to work on what it is your, your right. goal is. Mm -hmm. So that last app you said is mostly for kids. Well, I use it mostly for, that's for my, okay. as an adult though, I use the MyFitnessPal because it, it's newer for one and it also gives you ideas of different foods that are on the market that right. will help increase performance. That's it's great. More activity based. Yeah. I want to do that for my nephews, and I hope a lot of people start to do that because there's a lot of people that just think, oh, it's just easier. Let's just drive through somewhere and grab yeah. something. And I don't think they're really aware of like mm -hmm. juvenile diabetes and just kids. It's really going to affect them long term, and it's really just unhealthy. So this is a really good option, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try it for when I have my nephews and make sure I encourage my brother and everybody out there. Just download these apps. They're going to be great for you. The, the thing you want to make, the thing is, you're, you're absolutely true, right about the kids because this is a generation that could possibly not outlive mm -hmm. their right. parents. Yeah. So that's a sad statement, but it's true. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming oh, on and yes. teaching us a thing or two. I know I learned a lot today about mm -hmm. grains that I never knew before. <laughs> I didn't so, either. Uh, we appreciate you coming on today, Rachel. Thank, thank you, you so much. Having. You guys stay tuned. We'll be right back.